We found this bathroom that's copped an absolute hammering over the years, and with the budget of just $1,500, I'm giving it a facelift. Now, this bathroom is so small, you literally couldn't swing a cat in here. So, hi, kitty. You can take my word for it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is take off this door and make some more room. Poor little kitty. One of the quickest and cheapest ways to get an instant facelift in your bathroom is just by updating your vanity. There we go. A bit of mushrooms helps. <laughs> When you're renovating a bathroom, it's very tempting just to strip the whole lot and start afresh. But when you're working on a tight budget, you need to think a little bit smarter. The first thing I'm doing is replacing these broken tiles, but don't worry, I'm not going to stop there. I've had to replace a few broken tiles around the tap area. Now, before I put the new ones on, because we're in a shower area, it's a good idea to put some waterproofing membrane on. Allow the membrane to dry thoroughly before applying the tiles. Now I've replaced all the broken tiles, I'm giving this whole bathroom a thorough clean because I want to see if it's worth saving these floor tiles and bar. Fingers crossed it is. You want to make sure that you use a good quality multi-purpose cleaner to get rid of all the dirt and grime. I'm happy with the way the bath and floor tiles have polished up. So now I've decided to paint these wall tiles a different colour because I really want maximum impact in this small bathroom. To paint the wall tiles is a three-step process. Cleaning, priming and top coat. I'm going to use the drying time in between coats to put together a new vanity. That will give this bathroom more storage and a more modern look. Here's a tip for people trying to save money renovating a bathroom. We all know that you can buy vanities off the shelf, but did you know that you can buy my goodness, right? Amazing. Well, you definitely can't buy a Qantas jet, but we all know that you can buy a vanity off the shelf. But did you know you can buy exactly the same ones in a flat pack, which can save you a heap of money because you're not paying for the labour. And in the end, that could add up to a few hundred dollars. Later, I'll be putting the finishing touches on this bathroom on a budget. And we'll see if the tile paint has given me the wow factor that I'm looking for. With the three coats of paint on the wall tiles, you can see how much better it already looks compared to what used to be there. And while I was at it, I decided to paint the walls as well. This white colour really freshens everything up and actually makes this bathroom feel a lot bigger. And it was all done for just under $200. With the tiles dry, I can get on to putting some silicon around the bath edges. And here's a good tip. If you haven't worked with silicon much, it's a good idea to put some masking tape down to get your straight lines rather than putting the silicon in and trying to just work with that because things can get very messy. Now, if we put the old tapware back on, I would have just brought this bathroom back down to what it was. So for under $100, you can put a new set of taps on and it even starts making this bath look a bit more modern. When you're renovating a bathroom on a budget, obviously you've got to think about what you pump your money into. We've saved a bit on the tapware, which means we've been able to put more money into items like this glass shelf, which in the end will give this bathroom a more high-end feel. And to finish the shower, this old curtain should do the trick. Just joking. A glass shower screen will bring it straight into the 21st century. And fitting a screen like this for just under $300 really converts this bath into a shower area. And you just want to remember when you're fitting shower screens to keep your fixings on the inside. That way, from the outside, everything looks neat and tidy. And to hold the vanity in place, I've just attached a few brackets to the wall and you can hook onto that. And because I got this in a flat pack, it meant I had more money in my pocket to spend on the tapware. And how good does this look? It really is the centerpiece of this bathroom.
hard to believe that I'm standing in the same bathroom. Now I did have to fork out a little bit extra cash to get the sparky to change his ceiling light.